Hashem Hashem Na'asim Na'asiyach, this week's part of Lech Lecha, we wanted to talk about um, the topic today is life is a test, how do we pass it? You know that the Mishnah Avot says this week's parsha was the beginning of 10 tests. The first one was really last week's parsha, so I talked about where Kastim Avram was thrown in the fiery furnace. But 10 different times, not one, not two, not three, not five, 10 different times Avram was, t- was tested. When it came to a climax, his 10th test was is he gonna, willing to sacrifice his son Yitzchak, Isaac to God. And the Zohar in this week's parsha says very eloquently, how did Avram Avinu pass his test? Because we are also being constantly tested in our life. There's no such thing as coincidence. Any curveball that comes in life your way is sent by God. The pitcher is God. The Dodger is in the World Series, so we got to give some uh, MLB analogies. We know life has a lot of curveballs and very unexpected turns. My own dad, he should be alive and well, got pancreatic cancer, now he has kidney failure. How do we persevere when everything seems to be dark? Well, that's exactly what happened to Abraham. God tells him, Lech Lecha, leave your home, abandon all your prestige, your honor, your comfort, and come to Islam. He comes there, there's no food. He leaves Israel, he goes to Egypt, and they steal his wife. He was worried they're going to murder him because Sarah, Sarah was so beautiful. They take away his wife. Away his wife. Does he complain to God? Does he abandon God? Does he, God forbid, change God and say, well, this God, I listen to him and what do I get in return? Nothing but headache. No. The Zohar tells us every second of life is a test. Some are big, some are small. We always have to do the right thing. But the only way to persevere and win these tests is to have trust in God. And the Zohar says in the Pasuk, we say it in the end of Yurkat Amazon, Grace After Meals, It says, Sadikim are like young lions. A young lion knows that his, a mother lion is going to rip apart and do anything and everything to bring their child to food. And righteous people know that even though there may not be food on the table now and everything is seems like there's no light at the end of the tunnel and it's just disaster after disaster there's no food now I go to Egypt they take away my wife you have to be patient you have to know God is in control and if we trust that we are connected to almighty all compassionate all knowing God and we're like ants we don't see the whole picture only then we can persevere if we want to just be shallow and have anxiety and just blow up and say, well, we listen to God and now it's nothing but a headache and then we're going to fail our test, God forbid. Avram teaches us, he passed all his t- 10 tests with flying, flying colors. The only way to do that is to know that any situation you put in, God is putting you there and he wants you to win. How do you win? How do you pass the test? by realizing that when you don't lose your faith and when you don't lose your trust, like in money it says, in God we trust. You always have to trust that even though it's cripplingly difficult to be in this situation and we have every reason to lose faith and hope, have hope, have faith in God. And when you have that, you're gonna pass your test, you're gonna become a much higher and greater human being. That's what the whole Holocaust is about. The whole history of Jewish nation is if after Hanukkah, if after the destruction of our temples, after, if we would just give up hope and say we're done, then there's, there would be not even one single Mingo Jew alive. Abraham and Binu put into the DNA of the Jewish nation to never give up, always have hope, know that there's light at the end of the tunnel. And when you do keep your strong faith and know it's all for the best, that's how you pass the test of life. That's how you become great. Don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful Shabbat.